everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne. I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about all the RV negativity that is so prevalent online these days. Negativity about almost anything with RVs, like RVs themselves, the manufacturers, the whole industry, campgrounds, and so on. For newer RVers, it can be very intimidating. In fact, some have even told me that it's downright paralyzing because no matter what choice they want to make, there's something negative about that. Well, here's the question. Is everything in RV life really all that bad? Are RVs all that awful these days? Well, you know, I made a video about whether or not all RVs are trash just a little while back, and I got a lot of very good positive comments uh, from those that watched the video, but predictably, spreaders of drama and negativity gave it plenty of thumbs down because they started to realize I was not agreeing with their extreme opinions. Well, here's an interesting question. Who are these people that seem to be so negative about RVs? Well, I've put out a little over 200 videos now, and after a while you start to recognize some patterns. And what I found is that these folks that are negative about RVs generally fall into one of two groups or maybe both at the same time. So let's go ahead and talk about the first group, and that is people who have an RV that is a problem RV, or they have had a problem RV. Now, they went down and they bought their RV, but unfortunately, the vast majority of these folks did not do their due diligence before doing that. Didn't really know what brands you should be focusing on, which brands you probably should avoid. Also did not have a buying process that would assure that at the end of it, they get an RV that is in good workable shape. So they bought their RV and now it has problems one after another and they feel cheated. Honestly, I really sympathize with that because when you have an RV that just has this problem and that problem and it goes on and on, well, then that's very frustrating. It's very intimidating and you just cannot enjoy RVing to the full when that's happening. But the problem is that some of these people, now they want to exact a measure of revenge. And so they often turn their attention to the manufacturer of that RV that they bought. Now, even though the fact that that brand may be very popular, it may have lots of happy users and customers who leave plenty of good reviews online. It may even win consumer awards year after year, but because they have a poor experience that they have gone through with one RV, well, that just overrides all of that in their mind. And some even go further. They assert that if their one RV was not a good one, well, then all RVs are just garbage and trash. Now, that's clearly not true. It's easy to understand that because every year, millions of RVers take their RV and they go out in RVing season and travel and camp in it and they have wonderful experiences and can't wait for the next RV season. But you see, it's human nature to give attention to negative things over positive things. I mean, proof of that is just social media. If you start reading it about almost anything, there's just so much negativity, so many complaints. But the other side of that is that happy RVers, people who are satisfied with what they have, they just don't tend to speak up nearly as much 
or nearly as strong as those who are negative about their RV. Well, let's move on to group number two. That's those who like to follow some online influencers who just give you a steady diet of drama and negativity about RVs and RVing. Why do they do that? Well, my friends, three words, because it sells. Yes, they have a business. And if they want to make money as an online influencer, they've got to have lots of viewers to make lots of money. And unfortunately, as we said earlier, the tendency of many people is to pay attention more to negative things than to positive things. So let's make a comparison here to help us understand that a little bit better. Suppose you're looking at two videos and one video's headline says, there are problem RVs, but the vast majority of RVers are happy. The second video says, all RVs are trash and garbage. Look at the awful stuff that happened to me. Now, <laughs> which video do you feel is going to get the most viewers or the most clicks as people want to see it and find out about it? Unfortunately, it's the one that's more negative in many cases. So what I recommend is this. Just be careful of online influencers that seem to mainly focus on nothing but drama and negativity. There's something always wrong with their traveling, their camping, their RV, and so on. Now, I'm not saying that they're lying. There may be a core of truth in what they're talking about, but it that truth is very often exaggerated greatly. So that's really not beneficial for people to learn from. Well then, what is the truth about RVs these days? Well, I'm gonna give you my take on it. And that is that you can get a problem RV from any RV brand out there, no matter how well reviewed. Why? Because they're handmade. And the more human influence there is in the construction process, the less consistent it's going to be. And you simply will not always get the product that that brand has the reputation for. And now as more automated processes come in, to the RV industry, well then hopefully we look forward to seeing more consistency, better overall quality as it goes, like the auto industry has. They have pretty much automated everything and things are much more consistent these days. So what is, are we saying? What am I saying at this point? Should you avoid buying an RV? No, because you can manage that risk of getting a poor RV if you are an educated RV buyer. That's all you need is a little knowledge. Now, I made a video again about this too, not long back, about how to avoid the biggest mistakes that RV buyers seem to make over and over again. Watch the video and follow that advice and you will put the odds firmly on your side that you're going to get a good RV when you buy. Okay, so what does this mean? Am I being overly positive? Am I burying my head in the sand about the industry? Am I a shill for the RV industry? Just a Pollyanna that only sees good things. No, my friends, I am not. In fact, I have repeatedly stated that RV manufacturers, RV dealers, and RV service techs need to up their game considerably going forward if this industry is going to continue to improve and increase. 
I made a video about that as well. I've said it all along, but I actually made an entire video about it, and it is a good idea to actually watch it. But what I can say is this, the RV industry is in a maturing phase at this point. It's not matured and it's going through growing pains. And when that happens with any industry, well, problems and issues are going to be expected. However, if you know what you're doing and you are educated, all of those issues can really be managed and managed well. And let me conclude with this. RVing is fun. It is fun adventure. This year, again, millions of RVers are going to go out there with their RV and have fun, lots of adventures, great experiences. They're going to make wonderful memories and not have any major complaints about it. So don't miss that because of listening too closely to the spreaders of drama and negativity. And that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time. Mm -hmm.